Hi, Alivia here with Create Your Future. Create Your Future is giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. The link is in the description box below. I also have courses and they're all on sale right now, $20 off each course. And all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching is 50% off right now. So it's a good time to check it all out and for me to meet you, I would love that. I wanna to talk today about manifesting. <laughs> Big surprise, right? And I wanna talk about how to do that, a sure way of knowing that you're going to manifest whatever it is your heart is desiring. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be an SP. It could be anything involving your SP that you want to experience with that person. It could be career, it could be health, it could be money, it could be family. It could be anything at all no limits it's it's whatever it is your heart's desiring you can manifest it you can have be and do anything your heart desires but you need to do it from a standpoint of knowing it's yours now the universe it operates in now no past no future now everything is in the present moment so whatever i'm thinking and feeling in this moment i'm perceiving myself to be in this moment or perceiving a situation to be in this moment or perceiving a person to be in this moment is what the universe is seeing and what is being pushed out of me and then reflected back and so what you need to do if you want to manifest something into your life is learn to stop basing your manifestations and building your imaginal scenes and your intentions off of the current 3D reality being not what you want and basing it all on the vision of what you do want, living from the end of already having what your heart is desiring. If I look at my 3D and I see that I'm not with my SP or my specific person, and then I start thinking of ways using my logical ego mind to contrive that and or come up with situ intentions and that are going to cause that to come into being. It's not as effective and, a certain, and especially if you're building everything off of the current 3D reality, you're allowing yourself to attach to that and you're feeling the feelings of not having and living from states of lack. I wish I had this, I need this, I want this you know, I'm desperate for it, whatever it may be, if you're living from that state of consciousness, you're gonna get more of that stuff showing up in your 3D reality because I am whatever I'm conscious of. So if I'm conscious of lack, then lack is gonna show up into my reality. If I'm conscious of having whatever it is my heart desires, if I live from a state of consciousness that says I already have the thing my heart desires and I live internally from that, then internally is where it is pushed out and then it reflected back. And in the moment, if I'm living internally, that I am already with my specific person in the way that I desire to be, that I always have beautiful communication with this person, that we're married, that we're life partners, whatever it is you want. And same goes for anything else in life, health, careers, family, money, all of that. I live from the end of already having it. And the key is feeling the feelings. How would it feel? Ask yourself, how does it feel to think, when I think about having my SP in my life, how does that feel? Right now, in the moment, they're mine. They live with me, they're married to me. We're in a happy, blissful relationship. How does that make you feel? It certainly feels better than when you're living from a state of lack where I wish they were with me. I wish I was the only person in their life that there wasn't a third party, you know, and you feel the pain and the hurt of all of that. Go to living from the end of having what it is your heart desires and feel that feeling. That's how you manifest. Feel the feeling, be the person now. In the moment is the time of creation. Jesus said that if you ask for something, you have to believe that you already have it and that it's yours. And even if you don't believe that it's possible because you're seeing all the negative evidence in your 3D, you don't have to believe it as much as you have to imagine it and then live from the end. And the believing 
comes, especially when you start to get evidence of what you're doing. So right now, you may not be with your SP and it doesn't feel like reality and you feel like you're pretending to, you, pretending to yourself. Well, that's okay, keep doing it. Keep see, saying to yourself, I am with my SP. We are in a loving, committed relationship. I have the career of my dreams and I'm, I'm earning the amount, the money that my heart desires for all the things that my heart desires to experience in life. I have perfect health. I am whatever it is my heart desires now in this moment. And when you live from that in the moment, your subconscious mind doesn't know that's not real. So even if your logical mind is telling you, well, this isn't real, this isn't true, there was somebody else, this isn't real, this isn't true, you have a backache. No matter what the ego mind is telling you, you live from having whatever it is your heart's desire because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference. If you are living and feeling the feelings of already being perfect health, no matter how much your back is hurting, your subconscious mind recognizes that feeling that I have this now. I have perfect health. So that what's it do? It pushes it out and then it's reflected back and you have perfect health. Same with SP or anything else in your life. You live from the end of already being in the relationship, not maybe someday, or I hope we will be, or I want to be. No, I am. Now I am, I have, it is. And you live from that. And because you really, whatever you're imagining or whatever you're saying to yourself in this moment, your subconscious mind believes it's the true reality of who you are. And that's what's gonna push out. So if you're doing all the opposite of what you want to experience, if you're feeling resentful and, and, and hurt towards your SP and, and angry with them and wanting an apology for something they did in the 3D, which is a result of your past thoughts that they must conform to, then you're gonna get more of the heartache. But if you live from a state of love towards your SP and appreciation, knowing that I am the woman that they love and care for. I am the man or the woman that they adore. I am the man or a woman that they are completely committed to. I am the man or the woman that they have promised their life to forever. You know, we have this beautiful forever relationship. Whatever it is that your heart's desiring, and it goes for everything else, not just specific people. When you live from that state of consciousness that I am whatever it is my heart's desiring, I am perfect health no matter how bad your back is hurting. I am perfect health. Because you know in the moment, whatever you're saying in the moment must be pushed out and then reflected back. So you know in that moment, as you say, even though you don't believe it, even though you don't, you don't believe it, it's okay. Because you're saying in the moment with conviction that I have perfect health. And you know in that moment that it must show up. So what? Another day or two or an hour or so, who knows? It will show up and the pain is gone. I've had so many illnesses gone. In the moment, it didn't look like it was possible. In the moment, I felt pretty awful. But in the moment, I was also saying I have perfect health and I would not relent. I would not give in. And I did not come into agreement with it by telling other people, oh, my back hurts so bad or my arm hurts so bad or I have this terrible headache, whatever it may have been. I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them my illnesses. I didn't tell them anything that was going on in me physically. In the moment, I'm perfect health. So how did I, how did I act with people? I acted like I felt good. Was I as energetic sometimes? No, but that doesn't matter. We all have our ups and downs, but in the moment I was continually saying, I have perfect health. And in the moment I knew I would be healed because the next step is for the, the subconscious mind to push out my thoughts, my words, my intentions, my conviction, my feeling that I am perfect health, even though I, it's not literally showing up in the 3D right now, it pushes it out and then it's reflected back. So I knew that to right this moment, I may not have perfect health, but tomorrow, yes, or the day after, or the day after. So I can look back at illnesses that took a while, but they're gone totally and completely. And it, it happens so naturally, you gotta persist. One of the things that Neville Goddard says is you do it until it shows up. You do it over and over and over again. And I've, I've had so many clients who will say, I've been doing this for so long and, they, and they're acting, they're all bummed out and they're acting like it's the end and it's over because I've been doing it, it's not working. 
my response to them is do it some more. Do it some more. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Stay the course. I have this. It's mine. It is. And so the um, answer to manifesting whatever you want is to live in the state of consciousness of already having it whatever it is, no matter what the 3D looks like, no matter how unreal it looks, no matter what the logical mind tells you, well, that will never happen because of this, this, and this. They will never choose this because of that, that, because of that reason or that reason. And there's this third party. Um, there's somebody else in line for the promotion that's been there longer and they have more experience. How could this happen to me? You live from the state of consciousness internally that it's mine. You do that through your imagination. Imagine a scene of seeing yourself being congratulated that you have, that you've gotten the new permission, promotion. Or you imagine yourself being with your SP. You're going on a trip and you're alone. Okay, fine. In the 3D right now, because of your past thoughts, that's the outcome. But inside, you know that as long as I live internally, that we're together and we're loving each other and we enjoy one another's company, that will be my next 3D reality. That will be pushed out and that will be reflected back to me. So that this is only temporary. The 3D is not real, it's fake, it's an illusion, it's only temporary. And if you put your energies into it, you're just creating more of it. But if you look at it, it's only temporary. It's only temporary that I have that pain. It's only temporary that I have this illness because in the moment I'm saying I have perfect health and my body is whole and healed. Same thing with ESB and money, promotions, whatever it is. Live from a state of consciousness that says I already have what it is my heart's desire and you have to feel that. That's the key, 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 key. Walk through your day feeling that I am already my SP's uh, partner, that I already have the promotion, that I already have the perfect health. Take joy in that because in the moment you know that this is going to become my next 3D reality. And that's so exciting that you can plan your future next, your future reality by what you're saying right now in this moment. So it's very important to Remember that I am whatever I'm conscious of being. If I'm conscious of lack, then that's what's going to show up in my reality. If I'm conscious of abundance, then that will show up. If I'm conscious of having whatever it is my heart's desiring right now, living from that and feeling that feeling of joy, of what it feel like to be with my SP on a regular basis, totally and completely committed to one another. I am the woman they are in love with. I am the man or the woman that they adore, that they're committed to. And, to. and to lay aside all the resentment, lay aside all the needs for apologies. I mean, if you want to intend an apology, fine. You have that free will. But for me, it's let that just happen naturally. If I live from the end of having the person that I want and they're saying, because I've lived from that and, I'm, and it's finally pushed out and reflected back, because, and then I'm seeing it show up in my 3D reality, I don't really care if I get an apology, if they're saying and doing all the things, my heart's desiring all the right things, all the things I've been wanting for quite a while. I don't need an apology. I'm just rejoicing and, 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 and feeling so good that, that we are finally together. And I live from that. I live from having that person now. I don't need apologies. I already have them. They love me. They adore me. They're respectful to me. They treat me with kindness and, 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 and they honor me. And they do all kinds of wonderful, special things for me. They make me feel like a queen. So you live from the end of already having and all that little ego mind stuff means nothing and it fades and it goes away. All that little ego mind stuff has no value when you live from the end of already having what your heart desires internally, I have it now. It, the 3D says there was somebody else. The 3D says someone else is getting the, has the promotion that you wanted. The 3D says all kinds of things because there, that's all a reflection of your past negative thoughts. Some you knew about, some were unconscious. Right now, you're consciously making a choice 
to live from the end of having whatever it is your heart's desiring. And in this moment, you know that it's going to be your next 3D reality somewhere, sometime, somehow. And you don't have to figure out anything. All you know is this is mine. I have it now. You live in the joy of being your special person's partner. You live in the joy of having perfect health and how that feels to do the things you want to do without an illness. You live in the joy of having all the money you need to go anywhere in the world that you want to go or do anything you want to do or share your riches with anybody you want to help or just just give a, a big burst of encouragement to. Whatever it is that your heart's desiring, you live now that like you have it and you feel that feeling of having it and you live from that. You walk through your day. Every time you, the ego mind says, yeah, but they're not here. Yeah, but you don't have that money. Yeah, but you still have X amount of dollars in your bank account, which isn't what your heart's desiring. So in the moment, I'm saying that I am abundance. I have unlimited in, um, income. In the moment, I am with my partner and we're having a blast. We love one another. We enjoy one another. And you stay in, you just bring yourself back. As soon as the ego mind uh, starts telling you all kinds of lies, deny that lie. Nope, not true. I am with my, my special person right now. Nope, not true. I have perfect health right now. Nope, not true. I am what I choose to be now. And I choose this, whatever it is your heart's desiring. And then you're disinterested in what the 3D is saying anymore because you already have what you want. You, you don't care anymore because you already have what you want. You don't care if they're not texting you this moment because you know they're your life partner and you're always in communication. You live from the state of consciousness that you already have it and you feel the feeling of how that would feel, how it feels. You can literally feel it now if you put your mind to it and enjoy it now because as within, so without. It must come from inside of you first before it ever can materialize in the 3D realm. So you have to live right now ignoring. No, I don't like that word. You have to live right now choosing to not attach yourself to the 3D in any way, shape, or form, knowing it's a reflection of a past thought, it's not real, and you fully and completely live from having whatever it is your heart's desiring right now, in the moment, knowing that it has to be pushed out of you and then reflect it back and become your next 3D reality. So it's just a matter of keep saying it until it shows up because it will show up. That's your confidence, that's your joy. I say it now, I have perfect health. I say it over and over and over when I need to and it does show up, it's always shown up. Same thing with SP, always shows up. Same thing with money, always shows up. You live from the moment of already having all the things your heart's desire, it has to show up. Everything must conform to you. You're the operant power of your reality. It must show up. No one has any free will in your reality. Everything must conform to you and every person must conform to you. Nothing has any meaning until you apply the meaning. You assign the meaning to everything. So if you want to say, assign negative meanings to things based on the 3D, go ahead, but you're going to get more of that. So assign the meaning that we're already in a loving, committed relationship and we enjoy spending time together and whatever it is you want to say. Keep it in a pot in line with what it is your heart's design. Give it the meaning that supports what your heart's design. And thought transmission is real. If you're walking around thinking, I want an apology from that person, they treated me like very negatively. They treated me, dishonored me, they disrespected me. They're a jerk. Well, you say those things, then just they have to conform. You're gonna get more of it instead. Doesn't matter what happened in the 3D, doesn't matter what they did to you in the 3D, you send them love. You think thoughts of, I appreciate them, I value them. Because you do, if you don't, if you love them, don't you value them? If you love them, don't you appreciate them? If you love them, why wouldn't you be grateful for them? If you love them, why wouldn't you feel compassion for them? If you love them, why wouldn't you want the absolute very best for them? So you send them that kind of love, unconditional love. You want unconditional love in your life, you first have to be it. You have to be it. You have to send it out to your person. Don't conform and send it back to you. I know for a fact, I've experienced it over and over in my life, over and over. 
And every time I send out anything other than na than uh, unconditional love, you know, and resentment or hurt or whatever, I got it back and I didn't like it. I've learned the hard way, as we all do it seems, to send only what it is I want to receive. I want to receive love and compassion and understanding and respect from my person or from all the people in my world. And I send that to them. No matter what's going on in the 3D, I think that about them. I send them I'm unconditional love to them. And then that's what I get back. And that's what we all need to do all the time. And so to manifest what you want in your heart and in your world, you need to live in the moment as though you already have what you want and feel those feelings. And you need to send thought and have thoughts that are loving and compassionate and kind. If you have resentment, then you need to heal that. You need to let it go. Tell the ego mind to go away. The truth is, I feel compassion for them. The truth is, I feel appreciation for them. Think of all the wonderful things they've done for you. Think of the good. Stop thinking of all the negative stuff that took place in your relationship. How can you build a beautiful, loving relationship that your heart's designed if you're constantly thinking about all the negative stuff that took place? And even that, what's showing up right now, if it's negative, if you keep thinking about it, you're going to get more of it. Your most dominant thought creates your reality. I am whatever I'm conscious of being. If I'm conscious of all the negative stuff, then that's exactly what's going to show up in my reality. If I'm conscious of all the good, all the beauty, all the joy, I mean, every day you're alive and you're healthy and you're walking around, you're going to work, you're playing with your kids, you're doing the stuff you're doing, is a good day. It's a good day. Be of grateful. Appreciate it. Be so thankful. Live in a state of consciousness that says, I already have everything my heart desires right now and feel that feeling of it and you know you're going to just walk around with a smile on your face all the time if you need any help with any of this or you just need some coaching or somebody to help so you know to talk to to support you on this i'm more than happy to do that you can uh click the link below and check it check out my schedule and and then and book something but remember this Live from the end of already having whatever it is your heart's designing and the key is feeling it and to always be the thing your heart's desiring to receive. You're desiring to be loved and understood and you need compassion and respect from other people, then you need to first be that to them. Blessings.